When I'm not making YouTube tutorials, I'm working on client projects through email, CG Trader, or occasionally Fiverr. These clients usually have tighter deadlines and small budgets, so I need to do my work quick and easy to make it profitable for me while delivering quality work. So for that, these are some of the add-ons I use to help me deliver in time. Number one, Zen UV. I get a lot of orders to make regular objects with PBR textures, usually for games or film. Over the years, modeling has become easier for me. The only thing that still takes me quite a lot of time is UV mapping. Don't get me wrong, UV mapping is quite easy to do, but it takes a lot of time, especially if you have a more complicated model. So what I do, I use the add-on Zen UV to make it simpler and automate some of the tasks that I would have to do manually. This helps me save a lot of time and use that time elsewhere, for example, in texturing and lighting. As a freelancer, I can't be choosy in the projects I work on or specialize in one thing if I want to get more gigs, but it's impossible to master everything either. So I keep different tools around to help me produce pro-level work for any niche a client wants me to do. For example, when it comes to VFX, I pull out RBD Lab, which reduces the amount of testing and experimenting I have to do to produce what the client wants. It comes with a lot of different templates that can become a starting point so that I never have to start from scratch. The alternative is using Cell Fracture, and anyone who has used Cell Fracture knows how much experimenting you have to go through to get something usable. And number five, we have Sanctus Library. Without a material library, like Sanctus Library, I would have to create every material from scratch every time I work on a project. And since every project comes with its own material requirements, I would have to spend hundreds of hours creating new materials from scratch for every project I'm working on. So with a library of materials, for example, Sanctus Library, I can save hours on a project by just grabbing what I have in the library and use it for my scene. And if the client project I'm working on requires me to blend different procedure materials using Procedure Mask, I use this new add-on called Smartify, which is a library of materials that seamlessly blend different materials and textures depending on different parameters like height, thickness, ambient occlusion, shadow, cavity, and more. As a freelancer, some of the first projects you will get are from small beverage companies who want to make commercials for a new drink they want to promote. And likely, they also want a nice fluid simulation included in, in their promotion. Blender comes with Mantaflow, but it's a bit limited in what it can do. So if you want more control and superior quality, look into Flip Fluids. It's an add-on that has been around for quite some time and it's always getting incremental improvements in how it works and the quality it produces. Like I said, as a freelancer, it's hard to specialize in one niche, especially when you are starting out. You need to attract all types of clients, especially ArcViz clients. ArcViz or architectural visualization work is easier to do, which is great for someone who is a beginner in the 3D freelance world, but it also attracts a lot of competition. So to stand out, adding fountains and other dynamic effects can help you win more clients. These fluid simulations are usually harder to do without a library like, like Aquatic, so most creators do not add them. So if you can add them to your project, your projects are going to stand out. Still on the topic of ArcViz, skies are a big part of architectural visualization. They appear in backgrounds, in reflections, and also help with the lighting of your scene. Choosing the right add-on for your background will speed up your workflow while giving you better lighting and better reflections. For that, I usually go with the physical starlight and atmosphere. Not only is it useful for ArcViz rendering, but you can also use it for other different types of rendering. The clouds can be animated and are also dynamic. Number 10, Procedure Crowds. Another add-on that would really help you in your ArcViz business is Procedure Crowds. You can use it for a lot of other things, but in ArcViz, you can populate streets, buildings, and give your renders more life. Number 10, we have Geoscatter. In a professional setting, it's harder to render anything without adding any form of vegetation, be it in ArcViz, movies, or short animations. The right add-on for this should have great scattering features, a versatile library of vegetation and plants, and an easy way to optimize your scene to render faster and efficiently. These are all features the Geoscatter add-on comes with, and is also supported by other add-ons. Finally, whatever niche you choose, if you have to render out your output, you want a way to do it faster, to deliver your projects, so that you can get on to the next one. Remember, as a freelancer, most of the jobs you are going to get won't pay you very much. Most of the time, it's going to be eaten up by rendering the project. So an add-on like Memsaver is a great way to cut that time in half. It optimizes your scene to use memory and VRAM more efficiently, speeding up your renders. So those are some of the add-ons I usually use and recommend anyone who wants to go into the freelance world and make some money for themselves. If you want to learn more Blender, 
here are some videos I've made for your viewing. All links are in the description.